In this video, I want to talk about hand sewing again. Now, um, in my video that I called Sewing American, I had three choices to make quilts for veterans. Hand sewing, a Dexter chain stitch handheld machine, or the gateway, which I ended up feeling was, um, even though that's what is available right now for American sewing, um, pretty pathetic. At the same time, there's a value in um, hand sewing. Now, it's a skill. It's, it takes longer. Um, but there's also a value in vintage needle cards. Now, here are some. And what a lot of people collect these for are the graphics. So this one and this one over here are by Rockin, which um, come from Japan. Um, this one, I believe, is from this one is from Westfield, Mass. What used to happen is banks and supermarkets, any businesses, would use these for advertising and they'd hand them out to people as a little bonus when you went in their store. This one is from an insurance company in Boston. Some of them say made in England, made in Japan. Um, sometimes you can tell by the graphics. Now this one is in poor condition, missing even the foil. But you know, you can take tin foil and replace that with tin foil. Most of them came with um, sheets of 10 needles to a foil and a needle threader. But it usually or sometimes says on there exactly what they have. Um, like here's one by transfer and it says 85 assorted needles. Now this one doesn't have a country I don't think. But as far as sewing American, at least you know what you're getting. This one is called Sewing Susan. It's almost complete and almost mint. So, um, there are needles missing from the top. I guess I was thinking of another one I have where um, you can find them with all the needles still there and get like 70 sewing needles for not very much money. Now, I did mention in the video Sewing American that a container of 15 needles by Singer, which are made in China, um, is four dollars and fifty four cents for fifteen needles. These there are eleven here. Um six, seven, um, this is another this is when they went to packages. Um I have one here. These are boys, vintage boys. Now most boy things are made in China now also. These are made in England. So by going with the vintage and you know, this was the height of hand sewing. And that is why they were handing them out all the time. It's the height of hand sewing. These are very high quality needles. All of them. Very high quality needles. So instead of buying, I started to say, I got 11 of them for $4. And you can see some of them aren't full. These I had had before. Um along with some vintage packages of hand needles. I also had talked about a few times, I've made my own needle book when, um, I don't know, I had put my needle books away and I made my own. So I would take a package of, um, these are John James uh, sharps and put them all on a flannel sheet. I have several pages there. So, instead of a needle case, which I also have, which is maybe um, more convenient sometimes, this I use with quilting because um, even though these are the longer needles, I can keep like two or three size 10 quilting needles in here. And um, no, I've got three new needles in here or something like that. Um, hand sewing, hand quilting, hand mending, and I know a lot of you are um, following my channel because of vintage sewing machines, but these are the equivalent. 
and these are a complement to the sewing machines. I don't know how everybody else thinks. My grandmother was the one that would do everything by hand, and if she couldn't do it by hand, then she would use the machine. So there are a lot of different ways to look at it, but one way um, for me with Sewing American is um, at least if I pick out a package that says Japan, I know I'm using a vintage Japan needle to make a quilt. And then, you know, it's what I put into the quilt and not where the machine was made, um, who sold it, who bought it, all of that. It's a wonderful art.